What's up everybody, it's your boy Blockchain Joe back at you with another episode of the Gerber Channel. Check it out guys. So, if you already know, you know. If you don't know, now you know. Today, Bitcoin is about to fork. BCA is going to be the new addition to the family of the Bitcoin coins. It's called BCA, Bitcoin App. It's taking place today, according to Coin Speaker. Check this out. Bitcoin Atom Hard Fork will bring several new features to the dais, including atomic and lightning swaps, hybrid consensus model, and much, much more. So if you're familiar with Bitcoin, you already know slow transactions. Um, you know, they're doing what? Seven to 10 transactions a second. People are tired of these huge fees. So there's been a lot of issues with uh, Bitcoin. So I guess the developers are deciding, hey, you know, we're going to fork again. What the fork? We're going to go ahead and create another Bitcoin. This one's going to be called Bitcoin Atomic. So according to the article, yet another hard fork in the Bitcoin blockchain uh, realm. It's going to be giving birth to a new Bitcoin derivative called Bitcoin Atom BCA. The Bitcoin Atom fork is coming quickly today uh, at Bitcoin block 505888. So that's Bitcoin number 505888. It's estimated to occur on Jan January 25th. Today's the 24th, but I'm assuming this article was written overseas, so it's probably already happening. Tomorrow, we'll probably start seeing the effects. At press time, the hard fork will probably go through in the next two to three hours as the existing data uh, according to Block Explorer shows uh, it to have reached the block number 505870. Uh, Bitcoin Atom is a SegWit enabled Bitcoin hard fork which is expected to address several of Bitcoin's scalability issues. Again, if you have Bitcoin, you've been following Bitcoin, you know anything about blockchain, you know that Bitcoin has had some major issues in terms of its scalability, speed, its fees. So, according to the article, um, it's going to try to address several Bitcoin scalability issues. Also, it will be hosting features like atomic swaps, which allows users to instantly exchange tokens at minimal cost without the need of centralized exchanges or any other intermediaries. For every in, excuse me, for very instant and cheap transactions, the project also aims to integrate Lightning Swaps (LS). This means that Bitcoin Atom will be uh, will be seen implementing both on-chain and off-chain mechanisms to solve the dual problems of cost and speed. So, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, check this out. I've got um, I got my altcoin screensaver going on right now. It's got electronium on the two bottom corners right there. And it says electronium, curiously strong cryptocurrency. So even though I'm not repping electronium today, I'm still repping. Anyways, um, so this means that uh, Bitcoin Atom will be, uh, will be seen implementing both on-chain and off-chain mechanisms to solve the dual, uh, dual problems of cost and speed. Uh, the leader of the team who prefers to remain anonymous, anonymous, this is what he has to say. Centralization is less obvious, but the problem with uh, the main transfer of value in uh, cryptocurrency world is exchanges. Centralized exchanges can be hacked or disappear or shut down by regulators and decentralized exchanges such as Ether Delta don't trade Bitcoin and only trade ERC20 tokens. Even at that, they can't get hacked. In addition to handling issues connected with speed and cost of transaction, Bitcoin Atom will also be using a hybrid consensus model by co uh, combining proof of stake, which is also known as POS, um, to, uh, to do their, uh, their stuff. Let me widen this up so you guys can get to see a little bit more of what's going on. Again, I'm, I'm still messing around with Evo. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying that. 
Boom, are you getting a good shot of my pretty face? Mustache. Um, so, proof of stake and proof of work. These are two, uh, these two are, are different types of algorithms to arrive at a consensus or agreement to determine whether a transaction is valid or not. So, if you spend $100,000 on the blockchain using Bitcoin and, um, you know, you make a purchase, basically the system is not going to allow you to make that same purchase twice using that same amount uh, or that same transaction. So, proof of work, proof of stake, all this stuff needs to happen so that way uh, the blockchain can do its thing and everyone can feel happy that you know transactions that are going through are valid and you know nothing's being faked and all the other good stuff so um bringing up the hybrid model in work is expected to uh to decrease network uh threat associated with the possibility of miners sabotage uh, sabotaging the system and in addition it will also increase network stability all Bitcoin holders who possess their private keys at the moment of the fork will receive Bitcoin Atom at the rate of 1 BTC, which will equal 1 BCA. Again, one to one. It's necessary uh, to either control Bitcoin private keys or store BTC with one of the partners in order to claim and transact Bitcoin Atom. Some of the cryptocurrency exchanges which have extended their support to Bitcoin Atom include Okex, O-K-E-X, Yo Bit, X Rate, E-X, excuse me, X Rate, E-X, R-A-T-E-S, wallets supporting Bitcoin Atom include My Atom Wallet, ESR Wallet, Bitcoin Atom, uh, Coinomi, and uh, more TBA to be announced. So, the Bitcoin Atomic features have already started trading on Yobit Exchange. So if you already have an account on Yobit, you own Bitcoin, you definitely want to make sure that you're going in there and checking that out. Then at press time is currently trading at a price of $406.50 according to coin market cap. That's sweet. So if you could not get in on Bitcoin because the barrier of entry was too high, I think now it's time to get in on an additional coin. Let's see who's who's disturbing me. All right, so Bitcoin scalability issues uh, basically have evolved as the major barrier to its progress and further mainstream adoption. The cost of a single Bitcoin transaction has shot to as high as thirty dollars in past in the past few months, and hence the investor community are waiting for the solution from developers. In my opinion, I think the developers love it when they can fork because if they own a lot of the coins, guess what? They're just doubling, tripling, and quadrupling their money. I think it's a scam. I think it's just another way for people to beat the system um, because you already know that you cannot create any more Bitcoin per se, but it doesn't mean that you can't create a, uh, another derivative of Bitcoin by doing a hard fork. So... That's my opinion on these hard forks. I think it's just another way for these developers to, you know, kind of manipulate the system and do their thing and make more money. Um, you know, those who are holding substantial coins, um, you know, uh, retail investors like myself, um, you know, we stand to gain as well because obviously if you, if you own coins, you're going to make more money. All right. So I digress. That's just my opinion. I'm just calling it how I see it. The community is waiting for the solution from the developers. This is their, this is apparently their solution to the problem. Bitcoin's blockchain network currently offers a throughput of three transactions per second with SegWit implementation. This will double to six TPS. However, this is still much lower than what its rival Ethereum in the ether baby has to offer, which is 20 TPS transactions per second. Toilet paper. Uh, in such a way, uh, if Bitcoin wants to remain at the forefront of this crypto mania, quite serious work needs to be done in order to finally solve scalability issues. And I agree. Uh, some of the comments that were posted on here. 
It is currently trading at a price of 406.50 update. It has since taken a major nosedive to about 200 to $230. So buy the dip people. Now's the time to get in. Don't wait for it to go back up. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section. Do you think that all these forks are just another way for people to make more money? Is this a way for, that people are manipulating the system since Satoshi Nagamoto, aka Satoshi Mushroom, only created a certain amount of Bitcoin and this is the way that the developers are trying to manipulate the system? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, click the bell somewhere down here. I don't know where it is. So click the bell, uh, let people know about the channel, um, give your boy some support. You see my t-shirt? Check it out. Bam! Um, give your boy some support, show me some love, let me know what you think uh, about what's going on with Bitcoin. Again guys, I'm using the Mevo, uh, working out, putting it through the paces and working through all the little, little uh, uh, bells and whistles that it has so that I can create some awesome content for you. I'll put the descriptions in the link. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget, stay crypto, stay safe. This is your boy Blockchain Joe, signing out, signing off. Later.